Good morning, everybody. It is Gorilla Man here, back with another farming simulator video, and today we are on the Goldcrest single player map. Probably one of the last few episodes we will be playing on this map. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to stop playing this map completely or not, but the reason for that, you guys, if you guys do not know yet, right before I get into this video, I'll show you guys. So, what I want you guys to do is right now, I want you to go in. I want you to scroll down to the description of this video. I want you to click on the straw poll link and I want you guys to vote. All right. So, all right. And guys, you're going to go, you're going to pause this video, but first you're going to go in here and you're going to click on this video or you're going to go to this video and you're going to scroll down to the description of the video and you're going to go right here to this little straw poll and you're going to click vote here. All right. So give it a second. It'll load up. And what this straw poll is for is, this is for deciding whether or not, or not whether or not, this is for deciding the next map I play for single player. So right here you guys see it says, what should the new single player map be? So I got the Cold Borough uh, Park. It's an English hillside map. It's really cool. It's got giant, giant fields. Both of these places have really large fields. and They look, they're fantastic. They're beautiful maps. And then we have the American Outback, which is basically... How I guess you'd think Australia would look. Um, I'm not sure. I've never been to Australia, but it's kind of like that. It's basically it's like outback looking. It's super cool. So so far, as of recording this video, how many votes do we got? We got 23 votes so far, and they're mostly for American Outback. So guys, make sure you go down there and you vote. Let me know what you guys want my next single player map to be, because basically whatever you guys vote for, that's what I'm doing, and you guys all can see this. So it'll be great. But anyways, let's get back to some farming on the Gold Crest map. So what we're gonna do is. I'm just like, you know what, what have I not done yet? And I'm like, wait a second, I have all these guys right here, all these greenhouses and bee houses. And I'm like, I got $115,000. This guy's getting me some canola. I'll probably have more money by the end of the video. But you know what? Let's hop in the 450. Let's go up to the cow farm. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab a bunch of manure and a bunch of water. And we're going to come back and we're going to plant, not plant, we're going to put down some more greenhouses. All right. Actually, you know, this field's already cultivated up. Are already destroyed because this guy went over it we are gonna go yeah we're gonna go down there to the cow farm we're gonna grab everything we need to grab and then we're gonna haul everything back up we're gonna buy probably three to four more greenhouses and we're just gonna load them bad boys up with a bunch of uh, you need manure and you need water for them to run at their max peak of efficiency so that is what we're gonna be doing all right I think it's I think it's gonna be really cool I hope these things are gonna start bringing in some money um, I've been playing a ton of this just off camera. I've just been going through cycling through I've made probably about five hundred thousand dollars and just repetitively going through I bought a few more things and also guys next episode because there will be another episode um, We will go through and we will buy an 8440 that was a last episode. I asked you guys What do you guys want my new tractor to be I showed you guys that list of tractors? I had and the most requested one was the 8440 40, the John Deere 8440 so not only are we gonna buy that on this game but we are also gonna make sure we buy that on the next map we play on no matter whether it's American Outback or the Cold Borough Park all right so I'm gonna swing up right here and I'm gonna attach up to this universal cot uh, small trailer we got here this bad boy already got loaded up with I think it's almost full of water oh there we go Yep, it's full of water, and we're going to take this guy back, but first, before we head back, let's park him right there, leave the truck running, we're going to get uh, the conveyor belt with manure, we're going to get it going, we got a Lam Lamborghini tractor right here, I already got this thing ready, she's loaded up, she's ready to go, we got the small tipper on it, and we're just going to get this thing full of manure, probably not going to hold too much, but we already have a ton um, back at the farm, so this will take a while to empty out all that. I haven't emptied the manure from the cows in quite some time, so we'll get quite a bit. We also probably have a lot of slurry to start uh, spreading some slurry for fertilizer, but we're not going to worry about that right now. So first, we're going to haul back the cot uh, universal trailer with all the water that we're going to need. Whoa, that guy's cutting me off. All right. Let me see. I need to pass this guy. Get out of my way. Where's my horn? Oh, that's like a good truck horn. I like it. All right, so we're going to be going this way. And also, guys, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 comes out tomorrow. You guys can be sure that you'll see me the second that video comes out. I'm going to do a first look video, um, just a first, like, reaction. Oh, we got the turn signals on. Uh-oh. Shut the turn signals off. 
No. There we go. Tentacles were on. Oops, that's bad. Um, but you guys can be sure that I'm gonna be posting videos like crazy on Car Mechanic, Car Mechanic Simulator right when it comes out, mainly because I'm so excited for that game. But I saw a bunch of you guys in the comment section or commenting on the last uh, video. You guys are ready for it. You guys are psyched. It should be out tomorrow. Let's pray that it's out tomorrow by uh, like probably about mid afternoon. You guys see the first video because that's the time that it is going to be released. And also, if you guys can see here, a lot of my new trees over here, they're all growing. Look at that. We got a ton of trees growing. And it looks, it, it's looking pretty good. Are these ones over there grown? The ones over along that edge are not grown yet, but you know, that's okay. Alright, we're going to pull up right here. We're going to tab back to our Lamborghini. Ah, oh, there we are. Alright, so she is full of the manure. Here we go. Alright, we're going to take this guy. Let's turn on the hazard. The last thing you want is somebody to uh, plow into the side of this and get manure pulled all over their heads. Alright, let's go. Yeah, this should be good. No cop, no stop. Yeah, baby. Alright, and then we'll turn right right here. Alright, guys. So, I'm thinking... I think we already have... I, I think it's a lettuce greenhouse. And we're going to get a... Uh, Turn the lights on, make this baby look good. We're gonna turn the, uh, not turn. We're gonna, we already have a lettuce greenhouse, so I think we're gonna do two tomatoes and possibly an, one more lettuce uh, greenhouse, and then maybe a few bee houses. But we're gonna probably set them back away from the fields a little bit because they kind of collide. Like sometimes the workers get stuck on the fields for some reason, or get stuck on those when they're going through the fields, which is just a huge pain in the butt for me because I have to stop what I'm doing, even though I'm working on some important stuff. I gotta stop what I'm doing. I gotta go help the workers out. I gotta move everything, and it's just, it sucks. So I'm hoping that this will be fixed once we redo these. But check these out, guys. Look at this. All the trees we planted, they are just going, and they are growing like crazy right now. Like, look at that. Like, another day or two, and you'll get them fully grown, and it's gonna look great. All right, but here we are back. Shut the emergency lights off. And we are gonna go, and we're just gonna pour this first, uh, this first load of manure. Uh, where should we pour, Matt? You know, let's just do it. Yeah, let's probably do it back here with all of our other manure because I'm not sure how much we're gonna use on these guys. I don't want there just to be poop laying out right in the open. Um, not good. Not a good thing. Especially not getting in on all of the machinery. There we go. Alrighty. Try not to hit those. And we're going to go drop off this trailer. We're we'll dropping off right here inside the shed. I think we can fit in through these doors. They need to make some of these doors like a little bit wider. Is it? Oh, oh my bucket. Just chipped, off, chipped off a piece of concrete with that. Alright. Did it again. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now... Now that we got everything back, actually let's put this guy over by the manure because we're going to need to start scooping anyways. So it looks like we got, which one is that one? Alright, let's go in here, let's go to the placeables, scroll out here. So we got, looks like we have, where is it, there it is, we have tomato already. Alright, so we already have tomatoes, Um, we're going to plant, or we're going to place a lettuce greenhouse. Let's try and let's try and go dead center. We're gonna need to be loading it from the side. So let's do it like this. Try not to have it interfere. Oh, oh, screen just changed a little bit. Actually, let's just uh set this. Man, I don't know where to set this. All right, we're gonna go right here. This should be good. Oh, he's done, so we need to get over to him in a second. Let's, uh, let's change this setting really quick. There we go. Ah, now it looks all better. All right. You know, here, just one second, guys. I'm going to run over here. Yeah, placement's not too bad. I wish I would have set that one like that one. But whatever. I'm not going to take it away because that's a lot of money. All right. Hopping in this guy. I'm just going to move this uh, harvester around and get him going on this next field. I really wish I should... Oh, I should combine these two fields, but I don't have I don't have all the room I want to combine them with. Let's back it up, get this thing looking perfect, and then we'll toss a worker on there. Can, can, uh, 
continue our business. All right, so he's almost got a full grain tank too. All right, once he fills up, uh, we'll go empty him. But for in the meantime, let's get back to planting these or placing these. So we got one here. Does it have? What is it? Zero and zero. So it's not doing anything. And this guy's new, so he's not doing anything. Let's go place another one then. So we're gonna place a another tomato greenhouse right here we're gonna flip it around so we can make it so it's on the outside so we can just drive right up and pour it and we won't be colliding with them right line them up there we go that looks pretty good and then we're gonna place another lettuce greenhouse right here on the end make sure we flip it the same way all right let's see how where can we place these Ooh, actually, this is a good spot. I think there's grass right there, and I think that's stopping us from placing it because I did cut a lot of grass there. So I need to go back through with the forge harvester, or the loading wagon, not the forge harvester. I need to pick it up. All right, there we go. So we got two and two now. We got some bee houses right there. I think I'm actually going to buy a few more. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I forgot the door opened up. I was like, what was that sound? Something hissing at me. All right, so I think we're trying to place maybe a few more bee houses. So if he house is 10,000, 20,000 a piece. Wow, that's a lot. All right, so let's place some bee houses. We're going to place the bee houses a little bit farther back so they're not interrupting anything. And so we don't always have to hear the constant buzzing. Let's go one there. Oh, come on. There we go. And then we'll go one right next to it. All right, there we go. Yeah, I think I have sawdust here. Oh no, there's grass here. That's why it was stopping. All right, I need to take like the loading wagon or something and pick that up. All right, so we got two bee houses, three bee houses actually. We got these all right here. So we're gonna load all these up with the manure and water that they need. Is the truck over there already? Yeah, truck's right there. All right, we're gonna go load this up. I think helper. Helper E needs our help over there, but we're going to get a load of manure going first before we pop over there. And we'll go to this closer one. Oh, accidentally just backed into the fields a little bit. My bad. All right, so I'm not sure how much this thing holds. It's probably not too much. Oh, wow. It actually it took a full bucket load. All right, let's do another bucket. I don't think it's going to take another bucket load. Um, but we'll find out here. Hopefully it'll take a, like half of it. We have plenty of manure here. So we have like 25,000 worth of manure. Alright, back up to the crops. Make sure we don't hit them. That's the last thing we want is to destroy our crops. Alright. There we go. Okay, so it only took a very, very small amount. Alright, now we're going to go right here and we're going to dump this one in. And then we're only going to need a little bit more from another one too. Oh, that's not making it. Alright, how about now? There we go. Alright, now we gotta pick up that little bit of manure we dumped out on the ground. Set this guy down. There we go. Alright, just pick this little itty bitty patch up. I like how the little symbol for the manure just like a little think of a little pile of dung that's all like little stink lines coming out of it it's kind of funny actually all right let's grab some more there we go and I think this a little bit of this one will do it and then uh yeah just a little bit okay yeah like half all right now we're gonna bounce around we already got the two lettuce ones done so we're gonna go do the tomatoes and then I'm gonna dump this one out and then I'm gonna tap over really quick um and we're gonna go empty the empty the harvest there because i want him to get moved want him to be productive all right all right we're gonna drop this oh listen to him purr all right i think we gotta back up to the front side we're gonna grab this guy yep there we go I really like this color. All right, we're gonna go empty the harvester really quick, mainly because I hate just sitting there and he's just sitting there. He could finish like half the field in the time that it takes for us just to 
I can just stand there and just watch him. Oh man, I also hate driving through the fields. But well, we're gonna have to drive through the, through the field here. Ooh, if we had crop destruction on, this would be a pain. We should tell him to always finish with the outpipe um, pointing on the side that you already uh, plowed down. All right, how much is how much does this guy hold? Oh, he's got still like four thousand left. All right, we're gonna tab over. It'll take him just a quick second, so we're gonna tab over. We're gonna grab another scoop of the manure while we're waiting for him. Got to be productive. Alrighty, there we go. Go around, we'll drop this one off, and then he should be, yep, he's getting back into it. So we need to go move that truck real soon so he doesn't plow right into it with the front end of his header. Alright, there we go. Get this guy going. Just move it off to the side here, because we're definitely going to have to uh, empty him again coming up here in a minute. Alright, so we got 600. Uh-oh, uh-oh, it's dumping. She's dumping. Alright, let's pick up... Oh, why is it still dumping? Dang it. I think it was just the angle it was at. was just really bad. Alright, pick up this last little bit. There we go. All 619 of it. That's what I was looking for. All right, excuse me, bees. And the reason that the that the greenhouses are better than the bees is because they just produce like a lot more money. But granted, you actually have to put upkeep into them, which is kind of a pain. Um, but that where the bees, you don't have to put any upkeep into them. So it's pretty it's pretty chill having a bunch of bees. If you just went with all bees, it would probably be okay. Um, definitely not nearly as good as just owning all greenhouses. Uh, but greenhouses, like I said, got to put actual work into them. Um, the bees, do them once, let them sit, and they are content with how they are. And I think that we should be able to... Uh, I think we should be good after this load. I hope this load will do it. Do it for the manure, at least. Then we can get cracking on some water. There we go. Oh. Alright, there we go. And then, by the way, guys, if you guys don't know, the manure is just something to help speed up the process. But the only way you can actually have growth is if you have water. Uh-oh. Whoops. Oh, no. The bucket. Come on. There we go. So, yeah, the only way you can do it is to have growth is actually to have water. So, let's go over here. Let's get our truck again. We'll drop him off. All right. We're going to go grab the trailer. So yeah, for some reason, you can grow crops with just water. You don't have to put any manure in them. The manure just doubles the process is what I think it does. Just adds a little bit more, uh, a little bit more moolah to that. All right, we'll turn on F1 so we can see everything. Should be able to drive right up to it. There we go. See, the second you do that, boom, instantly you get all of those tomatoes start growing. How much, this thing can take a lot. Okay, there we go. 2,000. 2,000 is not too much. Oh, putting our putting our Ford to work with this. It's a big tank of water. That's heavy. All right, we're refilling the greenhouse. Look at the all the le little lettuce heads coming up. I think that they do start sprouting. Like the, I don't know if the tomatoes are red right now or not, but I'm pretty sure they do sprout red at one point. Um, We'll probably we'll go we'll go inside the greenhouse and look in a second just to see if it is red or not. Uh oh, guys, we are negative. We oh no, we're out of money. Why are we negative? Oh no. Okay, good thing we are harvesting a bunch of crops right now, so we'll get out of the negatives in just a bit. Let's see. We'll do this guy. There we go. Another two thousand. And 14,000 is what it, there we go, right there. All right, we're going to go set this water tank back where it needs to go. We're going to try and keep the farm clean. That's my new thing, is I'm keeping my farm clean, keeping everything back to where it should be. 
set all of our tanks right here, slurry tank and our universal tank. All right, we're gonna set this guy back here so he's out of the way and so the workers don't hit him. There we go. All right, so now we got all of our bees and we got our tomatoes and our lettuce. All right, yeah, so I'm pretty sure the tomatoes will start sprouting off of here eventually, but for now we got a bunch of them. Um, exactly how much they produce, not sure. Um, they earn you $90 an hour. That's not bad compared to the bee house, which earns you $25 an hour, which I don't know. Mm. This is about $10 a day in maintenance fees. That's not too bad. So basically in a few hours, um, yeah, in a few hours, we would be already out of uh, debt because of these guys. They'll bring us out of debt. And then, it's weird. These guys got, uh, the tomatoes have the front uh, sliding doors. And then the lettuce doesn't. I guess tom uh, the tomatoes need a little bit more uh, humidity and probably uh, stable air conditions. But the lettuce is doing perfectly fine. Look at that. It looks. This looks really good, actually. Man, I probably I'll probably expand a few more. Probably drop uh, two or three more along here, one or two right there, and then we'll probably call it good for those. Build that little area up with bee houses. But I want to say thank you guys for watching. We're gonna end the video here. Don't forget to go vote on that straw poll. I really want to know everybody's uh, feedback. What do you guys want me to play? Whatever you say is what I'm gonna do. And don't forget, I'll get that 8440 in next episode and on the next map. So don't you guys worry who voted for that. So thank you guys for watching. Aren't subscribed yet? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're over the 22,000 mark, I think, at the point of uh, posting this video. So thank you guys so much for that. That's insane. 22,000 is a ton for me, like an absolute butt ton. Make sure you hit that like on the video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.